The average person uses 135 litres of water a day, the equivalent of about 400 cans of soft drink. But where does all the wastewater go? By following one drop of water through the system, we can see what happens to the water and how it is made clean enough to put back into rivers and seas. Whether from homes or industry, the waste that travels through sewers to the sewage treatment works is 99% water. The process of cleaning it begins by putting the waste water through screens to take out the largest bits of rubbish, like wood, plastic or rags. The sewage then flows very slowly into grit channels, where grit or sandy material fall to the bottom. The channels are mechanically dredged, and the grit disposed of in landfill sites. From there, the wastewater goes to primary sedimentation tanks. The wastewater stays in the primary sedimentation tanks for about five hours. During that time, the force of gravity pulls the heavier, insoluble particles to the bottom, leaving cleaner water at the top. The heavier waste at the bottom, sludge, is pumped to digestion tanks. In the digestion tanks, sludge is broken down by bacteria in the absence of air. The bacterial reaction takes two to three weeks and produces a gas called methane. The methane can be used to power generators that produce electricity for running the works. The remaining sludge is dried and used to improve farmland or disposed of at sea. Meanwhile, the cleaner water, containing only soluble matter, is taken to be aerated. The water is mixed with air and something called activated sludge, a special sludge with a high level of aerobic bacteria which need oxygen in the air to work. The aerobic bacteria feed on organic pollutants and ammonia, breaking them down into harmless substances in the process. At some smaller works, percolating filters do a similar job. The revolving arms spray the wastewater onto the clinker, which is like a bed of barbecue charcoal. The bacteria live on the surface of the clinker, getting all the oxygen they need from the air. After about eight hours of aeration, the water goes to the final sedimentation tanks. The water is now clear. Throughout the whole process, the water is monitored to meet environmental standards, which are checked by the National Rivers Authority. The clean water can now become part of the River Thames and its tributaries. Only 30 years ago, the Thames in London supported virtually no life due to less sophisticated wastewater processing. Now over a hundred different species of fish have been recorded there. The river has been brought back to life.